This is CPM Pre-Calculus, Chapter 2, Number 38. So the graph of y is equal to negative 2 times x plus 1 cubed minus 5 is to be shifted 4 units to the left and 7 units down. Okay? Write the equation for the new graph. We know if y is equal to, let's say, let's call it f of x, and we want to do these things to it, right? We want to shift it four units to the left. Well, four units to the left means we have to go ahead in the input, right, add four. Inside the parentheses, we want to add four to shift it four units to the left, okay? Seven units down means outside the parentheses, Right, so now we're outside the parentheses, we want to add negative 7. Or you can say subtract 7. Okay, either way. So that's given y being f of x. But we know y is equal to this thing, right? So now let's go ahead and say y is equal to negative 2 times x plus 1 cubed minus 5, right? So we still want to do the same thing. Inside the parentheses, we want to add to x 4. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So that's going to, we want to make this not equal, but let's put an arrow. The new graph is going to be y equals to negative 2 times. Now, instead of x plus 1, we have x plus 1 plus 4, right? We want to do this plus 4 inside the parentheses, okay? Continue on this. It's minus 5. Oops, what is this here? Let me erase this. This is just cubed, right? Minus 5. And then we also want the plus 7 here. All right, because this, I mean, minus 7 here, because that is going to shift it down 7 units. Okay? So then let's just simplify this. So we get y is equal to negative 2 times, well, what is x plus 1 plus 4? That's just x plus 5 cubed minus 5 minus 7, add those scalars, minus 12, okay? So this is our graph now, shifted 4 units to the left, right? 4 units to the left, and 7 units down, and here is the equation. All right, so this ends CPM chapter 2, number 38.